Welcome back to Journeys Desk. Plastics have become a headache for the country to deal with. Everywhere you turn, there are plastics lying around. The plastic bottle, for example, has become a major problem in this country. But why are people opting for plastic bottles? Join us as Skoja Brace explores alternatives that can help save our environment, prevent flooding and also address the economic costs of poor environmental practices for our hotline documentary. Here are assets. <laughs> The plastic is very simple, very simple to take it everywhere. Uh -huh. You can use it to travel safe, but uh, this in the, the glass, you cannot use the glass to travel. James, a trader at Adabaka, telling me his preference between plastic and glass bottles. He tells me plastic bottles are safe for him than glass bottles. The plastic is, uh, is, is good. You see, the plastic, uh, two people cannot use the plastic. Only one person can use the plastic and throw it away. Uh -huh. But the glass, you use it, they go, they, they, they take it back and go and fill it again. So it will give an infection to people, you understand? But the plastic, you can even throw it away. David, an entrepreneur, shares this reasoning of the plastic bottle being healthier than the glass bottle. I like uh, plastic because of the health issue attached to the plastic. The advice given to us on the radio, so it has gone into our mind okay. that preferably plastic is better. If you handle pl plastic a bottle, it can just fall down and then uh, everything scattered. But for plastic, you can take it back. But it is not everybody that shares this reasoning. Some is a regular patron at the popular restaurant in the capital city, Accra. He says, with his knowledge of the negative health implications of plastic bottles, he prefers glass bottles. When it comes to the way we dispose of uh, uh, plastic waste, we don't separate it from the other waste materials, so uh, recycling it becomes a problem and you go through a lot of cycles to separate them and cost-wise it's high. So comparing the two, I think bottle will do. Surprisingly, I came across more people who are led to the health impact of plastic bottles and are therefore choosing glass bottles. The main reason why I prefer the glass bottles is that whenever you buy, let's take it for instance, with soda, coke, and mineral and other stuff, where they are ready to take the, way the, the, the breakable bottles from you. But when, you, when it comes to the plastic, when you buy coke, coke plastic, you take it along, and if there is no substitute for keeping it to a safe, you realize that they will put it in the gutter, they will put it on the floor, and it becomes dead. You understand? So when it comes to the bottle aspect and the plastic aspect, I think I'll support the, I like the bottle aspect. Our pension for everything plastic, including water, has given the country a huge headache in terms of managing it. According to the United Nations Environment Programme, plastic pollution is a global problem. Approximately 7 billion of the 9.2 billion tons of plastic produced from 1950 to 2017 became plastic waste, ending up in landfills or dumped. So what do researchers say? Professor William Gordon, a professor at the Environmental Studies at the University of Ghana, says research has shown that people ingest plastic particles from drinking water in a plastic bottle. Recent study looked at uh, water, bottled water in about nine different countries. And they looked at around 260 samples. And they found that there was an average of about 325 pieces of microplastic per liter. Per liter. So, liter. so if you drink just one bottle of water, the, the 500 mils, that means the year 
you will ingest about 50,000 particles. Now the particles are of different sizes and they have different impacts. So they range from size from the size of a human hair to the size of a red blood cell in your blood. The one you have to use a microscope to see. And if you have uh, something around the size of 20 microns, a micron is, uh, let's say, a thousandth of a millimeter. So it's very, very small. It can actually pass through your blood vessels into your organs. So it will end up in your liver, it will end up in your kidney, and if you don't excrete through the urine, it will accumulate in your body. 